Hi guys, how you doing? This is uh, Thomas here, and um, and it's a hot day, but um, it's um, prom season time. Uh, a lot of people in my neighborhood uh, went to have proms and that kind of thing. Graduations coming, so um, I wanted to to uh, do this one, this um, story. Um, it doesn't involve Barry at all. Uh, we already talked about his prom picture. <laughs> we have his prom uh, story with the uh, the Spanish rice, and uh, this is my story. It's not Spanish rice, but this is going to take place in uh, 1981, approximately uh, April, no May, May of uh, 1981. So, starting in February, I met this young lady, her, her name is Cynthia, and um, I was the president of the local school, Optimus Club, and we had a, had a tour, a uh, bus trip to uh, Washington, D.C., and we were on, we got a chance to go to the uh, chambers, the upper observation chambers of the of uh, the House of um, House of Representatives, so uh, she was a school. Uh, she was a uh, young lady, and she was in the, the tenth grade. No, she was in the ninth grade, I believe. Ninth grade, and I was in the tenth. I was in eleventh grade, and uh, and I met her, and when we struck up a conversation, and one thing led to another, and we we became pretty close. She lived right around the corner from where I live at, so I said, you know, since she's pretty close, you know, and I did, I never dated anybody in my neighborhood, um, you know, and I, I wanted to make sure that if I bring a person here, you know, they're not going to disrespect my house or disrespect my par my parents. Um, so I was very leery of the people um, that I hung out with, and, um, and I wanted to keep my self private or whatever I was doing. So I met this young lady and uh, we hit it off and then I went over to her house about probably one or twice time, two times maybe, met her family. You know, they they were kinda uptight but that's okay. So I said, All right, so uh we got you know, pretty close. She came over to my house and, you know, my mother met her. I think my dad met her too and we came upstairs to my, my bedroom and that's the first time I had a girl in my room by myself and you know <laughs> did a little bit, <laughs> a little stuff but nothing too serious okay because you know um, I'm a virgin at that time so I didn't do anything that I couldn't couldn't do but uh, but you know so we kept it like I didn't want to make noise in the room also because people kind of tend to hear what's going on okay so we were very quiet <laughs> So, uh, everything was cool. So, um, we, we, we had it, you know, I met her and we would walk to school and that kind of thing. So, you know, we were, we were, we were pretty cool. So then, um, fast forward about a month and a half, uh, there was a, uh, I was, uh, my, my, uh, room, my home room, I was our representative from dorm government. And I was telling people about going to the junior prom. Uh, and I was telling people, yeah, come on, man, you got to go to the junior prom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people, they didn't have a lot of money. And, and my parents had, had a little bit of change. So, you know, and I purchased the ticket, you know, because I told my mom I want to go. And I had Cynthia, and Cynthia was going to go. I said, okay. So I asked her to the prom, and she said, yes. I said, okay. Um... And I said, okay, I was excited, and then I was telling people, yeah, I'm going to see you here. We're going to do this, that, and the other. We're going we're gonna to chill. <laughs> so I was all hyped up. So um, the, the day of the, the, the prom, the, the prom um, I told her that um, I come over to my house about uh, maybe like 6.30, and my dad was going to drive us to where we needed to go. I think it's the Lafonte Blue. So we were going to go over there, and we were going to hang out. My dad's going to take, take us back, because I wasn't driving at the time. 
And she said, okay, all right. So, so then um, that was in the morning. So a couple hours later on, uh, she came over to my house and she said, do you mind if I come over here to, 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 to dress and that kind of thing? And it was like, okay, fine, fine. So, so she said, I'm, I'm going to come over. So I said, okay. And she came over, my, my, my sister and my, my mother, they said, okay, we'll help you out. And so they, she got dressed and was in the process of dressing. And, you know, I was in the process of driving, of dressing also. So then what happened is her mother came over to my house and started banging on the door, bam, 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 acting like, what's up? <laughs> like you the police or something. Then she started coming into the house and my mom met her and my mom, <laughs> nice lady, but if you cut her wrong, she will cut you. <laughs> And the lady was like, where my daughter at? Yelling, yelling, screaming. And my, my, my mom said, you know, your daughter's here. You know, you don't need to act this way. You know, she's in, she's okay. Uh, my son's upstairs and they supposed to be going to a prom, you know. And her mom just flipped out. You know, I'm like, what's up? You know, I'm the man to just to her to come home. She got to come home right now. Come home, come home. <laughs> so, long story short. That was my date. She went back home because, from what I understand, is that her mom didn't know where she was at. She didn't communicate with her mother, so she came over and hissed the fit because she knew I was around here and she knew that I, where I was at. So she had it interest. But I thought Cynthia had communicated to her mother what was going on. So that's on her. You know, because I was over very upfront. I said, this is what's going to happen. And I thought that she had the wherewithal to take care of her side, you know. Um, I don't know what happened because that's not my family. I'm glad it's not my family. So, uh, I was very upset. I started crying. I was, because I was, I, cause, because people were counting on me to be there, okay. People were wanted to see me because I always talked up the the uh the prom and i said well we're gonna do this and the other so i had a lot of people that were wanted to see me there and i didn't feel comfortable going there just by myself because i told them i was gonna have a date too and they saw me hugged up <laughs> with this chick <laughs> so i felt that uh, i would let those people down because i hyped it up so much so i because I, I didn't go it, because I, for one i was upset Secondly, I was hurting and it was, I mean, it was a mess. And, you know, and my, my mom, she knew, she said, she said, you know, I understand you're upset, but things like that happen sometimes, you know, so don't worry about it. You know, you just go upstairs and, you know, just you know, don't, don't cry about it because, you know, this is going to happen in your life, you know, and, and my mom was right. And, and I was upset. And so the next day, you know, people, um, I think the, the next on Monday, people said, "Oh, it was good." I said, "Yeah, well, so what happened to you?" I said, "You know, something happened. You know, uh, you know, but uh, you know, I was going to come, but s something happened." So I, I just kind of blew it off, and, and people you know, they think they said, "Okay, no problem," but we had a good time. I said, "I'm glad you had a good time because that's what I want you to do," you know, because I'm glad they, they I'm glad they had a, had a good time, and and I, and I wanted them to have a good time, and I wanted to have a good time too, but this is what happens. So. Going to fast forward uh, about a week later, cause I, cause after, after that happened, I hadn't seen her for about a, a, a week, week and a half, and I did um, run into her, and uh, she says, "I'm sorry, what happened? You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just going through some things." So I said, "Okay, all right, you know, but you know, I, I never really." After that, my heart was broken, so I didn't, there's, there's nothing she could say to you know, that would want me to go back through that, that heartache again. So I said, you know, that's that's fine. So come to find out, okay, this is my, my sister. 
God love her, my sister. But we had our battles when we were kids. But I tell you, she got my back, and she, and she she has friends around here, and she will find out stuff, which she still does today. And I gotta give that to her. It's come to find out, the chick was pregnant. What? <laughs> she was pregnant, and she was like maybe two months pregnant at the time. Okay, I didn't know that. She didn't tell me she was pregnant. And I think her daughter, her mother was upset because she knew that her daughter was sleeping around. That she had been, as we say, she was whoring. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put it there. So she was so she would she had been out there, you know, and experimenting and, and she thought that I was involved with that. You know, and I <laughs> said I you know, I, I never engaged with her at all, that kind of thing. So that that was all her. So when I when I heard that information, I said it fits. <laughs> Nothing I can do. That, that that that's the reason why her mother blew up. So I said Nothing I can do. So uh I did see her about a year later. Karen Johnson. And I said, Okay, I will I just left her alone. So um, so I said, uh, okay, I will just leave her alone. And she had the baby, saw the baby, but that was the last thing that I had, and I hadn't seen her since. But I tell you, that's how life is. So anyway, that's my my story, and I just want to say, I'm. I'm glad to be alive. <laughs> so that's my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment about if you had any situation like that for for your prom or proms. Uh, my senior prom was was a lot better. I met up this other girl. Her name is uh, Michelle. Uh, I've come to find out, uh, you know, she's a little crazy too, but but she's a nice girl though. Um, so, but anyway, that's all I got to say. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>